Governor Scott's team took offense at this ad from Democrats because it hit him for refusing federal money to expand Medicaid or health care for the poor. In here, you see it all. Sad features South Florida ER doctor David Woosley to drive the point home. And refused federal funds that would have covered 750,000 Floridians. Well, Governor Scott's campaign hit back by saying this Dr. Woosley is advocating for a program he does not even participate in. The Republican National Committee added Democrats apparently could not find a single doctor to appear in a pro Nelson ad that actually works with Medicaid. In here, you see it all. Then the doctor revealed he does treat patients with Medicaid at both of the hospitals he works at, to which the Scott campaign said he chooses whether or not to participate in Medicaid and the governor's Department of Health notes he chose not to participate, though the doctor had just said he treats patients with Medicaid. We need to get this confusion taken care of. Well, the confusing back and forth over that ad sums up the same kind of contradictions we've seen on Medicaid for the past six years. Let's start in 2012. The Supreme Court had given Florida the choice of whether to expand health care for the poor with federal funds. First, Governor Scott told me he needed a few weeks to look at that. Whether we uh, can afford to expand Medicaid, um, but we'll be looking at that over the next few weeks as we look at that opinion. Then later that same day, he went on our same network and said he had already decided to block it. And then he denied saying what he had just said about taking a few weeks to look it over. We're not going to implement Obamacare in Florida. How and why did you change your mind on that? Oh, I didn't change my mind at all. We'll be looking at that over the next few weeks. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't remember saying a few weeks. I don't think that's what I said. Then, as Governor Scott prepared for re-election and polls showed voters favored the Medicaid expansion, Scott suddenly appeared to have a big change of heart. Expanding access to Medicaid services for three years is a compassionate, common sense step forward. He said expanding Medicaid was a matter of common sense, but notice he never said that he would act out of compassion or common sense. And indeed, after he won, he revealed that he had no interest in expanding Medicaid with federal funds. Are you going to push for Medicaid expansion in some form or another? I'm not going to stand in the way. That's what I've said. He apparently meant he wouldn't have to stand in the way because he would do nothing to get it going in the first place. But the Republican Senate took that to mean he wouldn't stand in the way of their plan to get it going. And then Scott had to clarify by not standing in the way, he meant he'll fight it tooth and nail. Which one are we going to take over next? Social Security, Medicare, we can't afford it. I'm not going to stand in the way. That's what I've said. I'm not going to support it. To recap, Governor Scott, who rode the Tea Party wave into office, first blocked efforts to expand Medicaid with federal money as he wrongly claimed the Affordable Care Act was illegal. Obamacare is absolutely unenforceable. Mm. Uh, it's unconstitutional. Mm. The Supreme Court will hold it unconstitutional. Mm. But we know it's unenforceable for uh, the state. Mm. Then when facing re-election, he said he was for expanding Medicaid if it's fully funded by the feds for three years. I cannot in good conscience deny Floridians that needed access to health care. We're not going to implement that. We just can't afford it. Then after he won, the Republican Senate came up with a plan for expanding Medicaid that would have been fully funded by the feds for three years. And the governor resisted and helped to kill it. With regard to Medicaid expansion, it's a federal program, and I've always said if the federal government wants to pay for their program, they should go ahead and pay for their program. Now Florida has effectively lost the chance to expand Medicaid with full federal funding for three years, because starting in 2020, the feds will phase down its commitment to covering 90% of the cost for states that participate, which brings us right back to the governor's problem with expanding it in the first place when he opposed it, as he does today.